Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Um, guys, so I wanted to talk about a topic. Um, Chris Eubank uh, said he will take out Gennady Golovkin. Um, Chris Eubank, um, he's obviously he's obviously part, you know, trained by Roy Jones. Um, you know, he's had a bit of a stop-start career, you know, he's, he's had, he's had some big money fights and big fights, but, you know, of late, he's been very inactive and his level of competition has been poor. You know, he's been fighting guys that nobody really wants to see him fight. And it's about time that we want to see him fight somebody credible. Uh, Liam Williams is being, um, touted as his next opponent that's a good fight i think that's a that's a competitive fight and that's a fight that potentially could go the other way as well it's a, it's a good you know 50 50 fight some people may view at 60 40 in eubank's favor but i actually think liam williams is a very good fighter i think liam williams is i think liam williams is going to cause eubank a lot of trouble and could potentially beat him as well because Liam Williams can fight. And we saw against Andrade, who's a far more skilled fighter than Eubank. Liam Williams gave him a good run out. So uh, I think that's a very good fight. And the way Eubank's been fighting of late, the way I saw him fight against Marcus Morrison, the way I saw him fight against, um, against this guy recently, if he doesn't up his game, there's a good chance that Liam Williams could even win that fight. I will say this, that Liam Williams' style suits you back because Liam Williams comes to you and Liam Williams won't like look to box and move like that Southpaw was Liam Williams will come and bring the fight uh and that and that plays into Eubank's hands because Eubank likes to let his hands go he's got fast hands but I will say this Eubank at times seems like he's only got fast hands he doesn't seem to have great boxing IQ he doesn't seem to have great ring intelligence he doesn't seem to have it, all of that. Hence why I think the Liam Williams fight is very competitive. Andrade was very tricky and clever and had the boxing IQ to, you know, outbox. And even though he came through tricky moments, he had the know-how how to get through the fight and win. I'm not sure Eubank... Eubank's a different fighter to Andrade. But still, I, I still think that Liam Williams and Eubank's a very competitive fight. I will say this, though. I still think an old Golovkin knocks Eubank out. Uh, I don't know. There's some people out there that think that Eubank would beat Golovkin. I'm like, what are you talking about? Eubank gets hit a lot, you know, and we saw that against, you know, we saw that against a guy that was fighting on the weekend. And uh, Golovkin is a pressure fighter, come forward, punches very hard. And I don't see Eubank standing up to that. I'm just going to be honest. I, I think he's got fast hands, but what's your fast hands going to do? You, Golovkin's got serious power. And Golovkin's not going to go down of Eubank. Uh, and I feel like Golovkin can dent Eubank, irrespective of whether Eubank's got a good chin, it's irrelevant. Uh, there's only so much you can take when you've got a very skilled pressure fighter uh, hitting you with hard shots. And Eubank, Eubank hasn't felt power like that ever. You know, Golovkin's got serious power. And I'm not sure the first time Golovkin, I mean, Eubank really wanted that Golovkin fight. And I'm not sure they're going to want it now. I actually, to be honest, I think now they want it because they look at Golovkin, he's aging. Um, so I will say now I think Eubank, and Eubank's at the stage of his career where he needs big fights. He can't continue to do what he's doing. He needs the big fights. But I still think with what I've seen, I think Golovkin would knock him out. I think Golovkin would be too skilled. I think Golovkin punches too hard. I think Golovkin's got too good a chin. Um, yeah, I, I don't see... I, I, I don't see Eubank winning that fight. I don't I don't see how there's people out there that's, that are suggesting that uh, Eubank will somehow win that. I, I don't get it. I don't see it. I don't see it. And I, and I like um, Chris Eubank, but you've got to be realistic. Uh, I've, I've been one that said I think he can win a world title. Uh, although there's a lot of people out there that don't rate him at all. I'm one of them that actually does rate him. Um, but I just don't see enough improvement for me to say that he'll beat someone like Golovkin. Um, I think if you put the right style in with Eubank, I think Eubank can prosper. I think Eubank can definitely blossom. But 
uh, like Liam Williams, I think that's a cracking fight because I think stylistically, Liam Williams will bring the fight. And I think Eubank will be able to show his far, you know, fast hands, his different punch, his diff, his diff, punch selection, punch, uh, the different punch, range of punches he's got. But I think that's a very good fight. I think that's a cracking fight. But against Golovkin, although Golovkin's a fighter that comes to you as well, Golovkin's a very skilled fighter. He's got a great jab. He's got serious punching power and he can wipe you out. So I don't think Eubank can win that fight. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think Eubank, even at this point, even though Golovkin's 40, I still think Golovkin knocks him out. I think so, but... You know, I personally think Golovkin will still not Eubank out. I don't know what you guys think, though. I'd love to know your opinion. Uh, I think Golovkin punches too hard. Just too hard. Um, another bit of news. The Dillian White fights off, which is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Uh, Dillian White and Otto Wallin has been postponed. There's a lot of people out there that are suggesting that you know, they, they're now going to have a straight shot at Fury. I don't... I was really looking forward to the Otto Wallen fight because Otto Wallen can box. And Otto... There was a lot of people out there that thought Otto Wallen might outbox Dylan White. It was a very fascinating, interesting fight that I was looking for and it was on DAZN. Um, DAZN's been a bit of a... Dis, it's been disappointing that all the, all the fights seem to be getting cancelled. Which is very, very disappointing. Um, all the fights that the meaningful fights seem to be getting cancelled. Uh, and, you know, apparently Dylan White's had a shoulder injury. You can't go into a fight of that magnitude with the position that Dillian White's in with an injury. Just can't. It's too risky. Uh, if you're injured, you, it's best to pull out because Dylan White's worked so hard to get himself into the position that he's got himself into. There's no way he can go and fight injured. Um, it's disappointing. I know some of the fans are going to be peed off, but at the end of the day, Dylan White's got to look out for his best interest, which is, you know, the position that he's found himself into, the position that his team has fought to get him into and what he's fought to get into in the ring. So uh, he can't give that up because, you know, the fans want to see him fight. He's got to be 100% going into a fight against Otto Wallin because Otto Wallin is a very good fighter. And like I said, there was many people that thought that Otto Wallin could beat Dylan White. So if Dylan White goes into a fight against Otto Wallin, injured, you know, it could be dangerous. So I, I don't think, I think that's the right move. I think it's, um, I think it's, I think it's definitely a right move not to fight if you're injured. Um, disappointing for fa the fans, I'm pretty sure disappointing for DAZN because they're looking to put on big fights and they're looking to take over the boxing market here in the UK. And a lot of their big fights have been cancelled. Um it's disappointing. It's, di it's disappointing. Uh, there's a lot of fights that have fall, you know, that have that have fallen through. Ben um, Granados, although that fight happened after, uh, still it fell through first time. Um, there's other fights as well that have been, you know, postponed and stuff, uh, which is probably disappointing for Eddie because Eddie wants to get the ball rolling. He wants to put on the big fights on his own. Chisora, I think Chisora Parker's on his own as well, isn't it? So that's another decent fight. You know, um, I think a lot of people have got a bit disappointed hearing the news that, you know, his might be looking to do pay-per-view. Uh, but Eddie, Eddie Hearn said that it's not feasible to do fights like White Fury on, you know, normal subscription um on the normal subscription that's being paid by the customers i i know but when we when we first heard about the zone we thought there was going to be no pay-per-view now there is they're talking about pay-per-view they're talking about pay-per-view for the mega fights you know the fights that were being put on sky sports pay-per-view like chisora parker weren't really pay-per-view fights i just think that there was a lot of demand and there was a lot of people buying these fights hence or buying them for for them to put it on pay per view, whereas now we've got we've got a uh, DAZN who are basically going to go back and put do probably do pay per view for the fights that should have been pay per view, but then also charging, you know, was it seven pound? I can't I can't even remember what they're charging seven pound a month or somewhere wherever it is. 
I don't know. I don't know how the you know that's. I I don't mind paying the seven. I'm seven pound a month is not is fine. But now if you've got the big fights for like thirty quid or something, then it's kind of like. As long as it's like one or two big, the really mega fights. The only problem is if you start now putting all of AJ's fights and Canelo's fights on pay per view, you know those are the those are the guys that the fans want to watch. You know, so yeah, let, let's see how it all pans out. Let's see how it all works out. They did ask. I think I think Dizone did a poll or something to ask the fans what they would. I don't know. I I, I don't know. Let's see how that all plays out, but. In terms of Dillian White, Otto Wallin, that's been postponed, which is disappointing. I was looking forward to it. But it is what it is. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about Eubank Golovkin. And what do you think about Dillian White and uh, Otto Wallin being uh, cancelled? Leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.